It's a pub here for PSP Sports. I'm in the Hay versus Bowie you final workouts here today. With me, I've got former challenger of Tony Bowie, Mr. BJ Flores. How you doing, BJ? I'm good, man. Excited. Uh, just uh, in town to enjoy the show. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I just fought myself last Saturday. Got back in the ring, got a, got a win, and uh, looking forward to enjoying a great week of boxing this week. Can you talk to me about the Hay, um, Hay versus Bowie fight? Of course, please? yeah, of course. Um, how do you start fight going with Hay and Bowie, BJ? Um, you know, it kind of depends on what mood David's in, I think. Um, if Tony comes out very hard in the first round, I think it could be over very early. Uh, I just think that in order for this fight to go around, Tony has to be smart. You can't come right out and try to press the issue. He's got to be smart and calculated. Um, you know, I think that's, that's the only way this fight goes around. What are some of the things you believe that Tony did well against you that he might do against David Hay? Um, you know, he's a good puncher, and then when he gets somebody hurt, he really attacks. Uh, I think he's, he's, he's good at, uh, you know, going for the kill whenever he gets somebody hurt. So if he got David hurt, I mean, hey, theoretically, he could get him out of there. But um, I just think the, the pedigrees are quite a bit different as far as the amateur pedigrees and the experience at heavyweight. That's going to be the main thing. Uh, David's been at heavyweight for a long time, and uh, I, just, I just think that's going to be the difference. Okay, so I mean, uh, Shane McGuigan is coach, so that it'll be a shootout. Do you think it'll be a shootout of a fight? A, a what? A, a shootout, a shootout. It'll be a For as long fight. as it lasts, I think it could. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, until one, one guy gets caught. And I just think that, uh, you know, David's got the slightly faster hands. And Tony, you know, his first fight at heavyweight, this is a very, very difficult task for anybody, not just him, you know. Great respect to Tony. He's a world champion at cruiserweight. This is very different. So um, I just feel like he could have had a, a fight or two or three to tune up a little bit to give him a shot to really get ready for this fight to be competitive. We're just jumping right into it, I just don't see how it's competitive. But anything can happen. It's boxing. Absolutely. I mean, do you think David Hayes ready for Klitschko again? Joshua Fury made, um, off this fight? The version of Klitschko in 2011? Maybe not. The version of Klitschko in 2017? Of course. Uh, Joshua, Joshua's still got a lot to prove, you know. Uh, he's a great fighter. He's one of my favorite fighters. I love how, how charismatic he is, how all of his answers, he's perfect. Everything he says is perfect. He looks great in the ring, but he's still got to beat a marquee name, like a top 10 heavyweight, and this is a good opportunity for him to do it against Klitschko, so we'll see. How do you start fight going with uh, Joshua and Klitschko Wembley? I really can't say. You know, Klitschko, uh, people are writing him off because of the loss to Tyson Fury, but Tyson Fury was amazing in that fight. He was very, very good. So it's going to be a tough night for, uh, for Joshua. It's not going to be easy. And if he does blow Klitschko out, then hey, we've got to give him his respect and got to give him his props because Klitschko's a real guy. Absolutely. BJ Flores, thank you so much for your time thank today. Thank you, guys. All Appreciate the best it. and uh, enjoy your time in the UK. Thank you, man.